I hope you're all doing well. Spring is upon us and I couldn't be happier about it. These are just some shots from my yard. So as I mentioned in my last video, I recently moved into a cottage and it has been so fun getting it all set up and also just getting into the spring season. As you can see here, this is the outside of the place. We still have a lot to do, as you can see. I wanted to talk a bit today about something I started consciously doing recently that I think you might all benefit from. So what I've been doing recently is consciously just focusing on my personal duties and responsibilities, developing myself and working within my own sphere of influence. So this also means that I've been consciously trying to cut out worrying about what others are doing, what is happening in my community, or even what's happening in the world. And in some ways, I could see how some people would say that what I'm doing here with this behavior is self-centered. And I'm also really concerned about that. I don't want to be self-centered. But what I've realized lately is that by focusing on what's happening outside of my own sphere the whole time, it's burning me out, it's stressing me out, and it's actually stopping me from doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And it's stopping me from contributing to the world in the way that I'm meant to. In this social media digital age, we are bombarded with so much information. It's actually unfathomable. It would be unfathomable to our ancestors to have all this information, all these data streams in front of our eyes every day. We know what others are doing and thinking because of social media. We're so plugged into the news, whether it's our local area or even global issues. And I have to say, I find myself getting too much drawn into it. I started noticing that I was really over-concerned with what others were doing, and also really overwhelmed about things that were really outside of my control. I believe it does take a conscious effort to keep these things, or the world you could say, at a distance so that we can focus on what our personal responsibilities are.
Another issue we face in the digital age is being confronted regularly through social media with opposing views or values to our own. This can be incredibly exhausting and daunting for our minds to grapple with on a daily basis. I find it so helpful just to look at all of this honestly and observe how my mind is going into all these different directions and zones that it doesn't actually need to. So my meditation recently is number one shelter myself from things that are out of my control and number two consciously focus on my duty and what i am meant to contribute to the world and my community and to try to do those things in an excellent way As many of you know, I lived in an ashram for four years, and I'm a practitioner of bhakti yoga. One of the main books that I studied during my ashram time and that I still study on a regular basis is the Bhagavad Gita. I really like sharing wisdom from the Bhagavad Gita because it is non-sectarian, timeless wisdom that can be applied to your life no matter what religion you practice or even if you don't practice any kind of spirituality or religion at all. The Bhagavad Gita is filled with practical guidance on how to live the most authentic and successful life possible. The Bhagavad Gita instructs us to be careful to do our own duty and not someone else's. We learn that each of us has an innate purpose or dharma to perform, and it even says that by doing someone else's dharma or someone else's duty and not our own, even if we do it perfectly, it can be very harmful to us. I really see that this verse can be applied to all of this in that we have to be so careful to understand what our role is and really focus on that and not overthink about what others may be doing or to try to be someone else. If we rather consciously focus on what our purpose is, we'll find that we have more than enough to do. Thank you.
I think for myself sometimes I do tend to get drawn into this mindset of worrying what others are doing or what's happening in the world and getting you know overwhelmed by it when I'm not focusing on applying myself to my own responsibilities. And if I'm putting my attention on what others are doing or worrying about what's happening in my community, I am actually trying to do someone else's dharma or life purpose and I'm failing to do my own. For myself, at this moment in time, my purpose is to be a wife, to be a daughter, to write, to cook healthy meals, to keep my home clean, and to also be active in my yoga community, helping out where I can. For me, mostly with admin type tasks or talking with people. Paired with my essential duties of just keeping my body healthy, I find that all these duties and responsibilities are more than enough to keep me occupied. And by narrowing my focus on what I'm meant to do and doing it well, I feel satisfied. I wonder if you all have any thoughts on this topic. What do you feel your purposes are in life in this season of life? Also, I'd love to hear how you're all embracing the change of season. I always enjoy hearing from you. I'm wishing you a lovely week and I'll be seeing you soon. Your friend, Sukhanti.